It's Christmas time! <laughs> so excited because we just took a little trip somewhere and it's not Disney but at nighttime it becomes the Disney that we all wish we still had and it's kind of like a gigantic frontier land it's really really neat and it's super Christmassy and I'm so excited and we get to wear a coat and be all cozy and they have lots of snackies here and it's going to be so fun so let's go do this look at that it's so dry out so like my whole face is like dry and my lips are chapped and all messy and I think I'm also going to show you some of the drive because it is actually just so beautiful. I grew up where there are mountains, but these mountains are, they are, they are, they are, they are different. They are special. I don't know why I ever play the guess where we're going game when like I probably already titled this vlog where we're going, but hey, you know? Ah, there's the room key. Let's go. Look at this. This is like test track, but in real life. You see that? Like the road is like, woo. Look at the views. Can you see them? I can't look over because, you know, test track's happening, but I'm pretty sure they're fabulous. Look, it's like more of the windy roads. And then up there, that's where you go zip lining into the mountains. I can't stop filming these roads because I just want to share them with everyone how fun they really are. Like, wee! Here we go! Okay, you can either take the bus, which the line is super long, or there's a walkway, and that is what we're doing. These are the little bands they give you after they check your temperature. Not that you care, but yeah. I am the only fool who decided to walk. Am I a fool or am I smart? Who knows? Well, I guess I temperature checked twice because I've got two of these. I didn't even say where we were going. I mean, you already know, for but today. yes. You'll notice additional hand washing stations and hand sanitizer locations. I am so glad to be here because I am really, really hungry and I cannot wait to eat. We're in. Look at that tree. It's so big and the music's so music -y. It's just great. like the candy shop and that's where they make like the homemade griddle and they show you how they make it and you can stand on a bleacher. Hey, yeah, you can get like so many things. Like look at that. Who wouldn't want a gummy snake? I do. Who wouldn't want that? I do. These, I, I, I would try them. I don't know what rides you can film on here and what rides you like actually can't film on here. I'm going to assume like I could just film on like the slower rides, but there's this really, really super, super fun roller coaster down here that I really want to do super bad. This is the Time Traveler and it's like really, really great. You kind of spin around and it's a roller coaster and stuff. Oh, you can kind of see it going over the hill there. And then this ride here is like Thunder Mountain, but horrible. It's like horrible. Your neck, your back, you know, it's just awful. I don't really want to do anything that I can't take you guys with me, so we're going to go find something like slower and maybe get some hot chocolate. No, it's too hot. If I just said I was taking off my coat because it's so hot, maybe we could go find the food I wanted. The grilled cheese is super good, but I've been wanting to try this like curly potato hot dog stick thing. I think that's it right there. No, that was not it. That was not it. So we're just, oh, I found the tater twists. That's what they're called. I don't know if you guys can even see this, but this is what we're getting, right? Nope, wait, 
the, the one with the little dog. Beautiful. Look at that's where like they set the little potato blocks and they pull them out of the deep fryer. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Okay, we've acquired our tater dog, but we have to find somewhere like out of the way to sit down and not even sit down, but stand up and eat it. And they have like all different kinds of seasonings for it, but the only thing is is that I'm not I like my things plain, so I just didn't get any. I've never seen anything more perfect for this moment. Humongous. Yeah. Hot. It's really hot. Yeah. It's interesting. Kind of tastes like a hot dog with potatoes. But that's fantastic because guess what? That's exactly what this is. I'm honestly having a hard time figuring out how. I'm honestly having a hard time figuring out how to actually eat this correctly. Because if you like put it in your mouth, you're gonna be stabbed in the throat with a stick. So I guess like you eat it like a um put on the cop. Right? I mean there's no other way. Or you could slide it up the stick. Nope, that did not work at all. That did not work. I'm a savage. I found no easy way to eat this besides to rip the little potatoes off. Eat them. That leaves you with this hot dog on a stick that I pluck off. And I eat it like that because mm. it was good. I didn't hate it. It was a little wet, like greasy. I don't like my food like to be wet. I don't really like wet things, but it was good. The only thing I would have done differently is I would have definitely is make sure I grabbed napkins because it was super, super greasy. You could see like on here, can you focus? Oh yeah, you can. See, you could see, you could just see, you could see something. Okay, now in Silver Dollar City, we're entering the Disney section. So we got the Barnstormer to my left. And then up here we have the Mad Hatter Tea Party, which is great. Here's the teacups. And then over here we have Pirates of the Caribbean. And a little bit further we have Dumbo. We're gonna ride all of them. We're just gonna kind of compare, compare and see how they, they, wait, no, we're gonna, <laughs> I can't get the sentence out. We're going to ride them and see how they compare to Disney's version. First thing is Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow. Just like it. Okay, we did it. We're on Pirates and there's a cup of water right there and it stays and does not spill. Okay, so on Pirates here, they do not let you fill. So that was a, a, a bust. What I'm about to show you next is their version of Peter Pan and it's, let me tell you, quite intense. Yeah, so this Peter Pan's a little bit more intense and uh, you'll definitely get to Neverland way before morning, that's for sure. The next thing is they have Dumbo and it's pretty much an identical version of the one in Disney World. There's like nothing that's different about it at all. See? Yeah, like, you know, it's just pretty much exactly, they're, they're a little overweight, a little overweight. Some of them don't go up and that's just how it is. They have some bellies on them and they do grind the ground if you're uh, a little bit heavier than most, but you know what, it's all right. It's really great. Okay, we're gonna get out of Disney World and then we're going to go over to, I don't know, let's just keep going. This is just like the Magic Kingdom shooting gallery. We've got all different kinds of critters. I mean, we got country bears, country, some more country bear stuff. It's country bears pretty much. And the shooting range. Okay, and then this like barn thing, it kind of reminds me of the Wayne County Fair. It's called the Jingle Bell Junction. You've got Mr. and Mrs. Jolly right here. And then it's just Christmas. But the best part of all, look, at this it is an entire gracie girl section and you can make yourself a gracie girl and it's gracie trees and gracie trees more it's, it's wonderful
This is where we came in and the time traveler rides up there. So we're gonna head this way. I also have something else I really want to show you guys, but the problem is, is that there's like a lot of kids in there and I don't really like it from kids if I don't have to, if I can like avoid it. But it's so cute and I have to show you. There's an entire firefighter section and what kind of dog do you know is like a firehouse dog? It's an entire ride and the vehicles are oh, racing. Well, Lockie, whatever they want to call it, but we all know what it really is. How funny is that? Ouch, that tree is very real and it just pricked me like crazy. Why are Dalmatians not good at hide and seek? They're always spotted. <laughs> they even have Gracie bubble wands here. <laughs> this like building here, you go inside and you can take off your mask. It's actually really cool. There's an auditorium in it. Why am I telling you guys I'm not showing you? Should I just go show you? Yeah. Okay, actually, it's kind of creepy, and I don't know if, like, yeah, no, this is it. I mean, there's no one in here, and I could totally put on a show for everyone. For everyone that's not here. It's actually pretty busy here today. A little overwhelming. Without it. I found the cinnamon bread. This is the, the yummiest, yummiest bread ever. They like cut it open and then they wad the cinnamon and butter inside of there and it's just the goodest, that's not a word, it is just the best, yummiest thing ever. And they have coffee, so let's go. Okay, so while I waited in line and got the cinnamon bread, which is tucked away in the backpack, I plugged you guys in because I'm already blinking. Oh my goodness, I don't even know which way this goes, but I'm going to take a little quick look at it. Oh, I think it opened. Yeah, um, I'm the worst. I put it in there upside down, but... Hold on. <laughs> it's really, it's really not that grand of a reveal because I um, did that so poorly. Is this a mess in here? Uh, not really. I see it a little bit. I don't even know if there's a glamorous way to eat this at all. And again, I, I'm just a fool and didn't grab napkins, but walked away so far. so good like it's so good I don't even have words it's like cinnamon and icing and sugar and just so bad for you I might eat the whole loaf I mean who's to judge like I'm on my own I can do what I want right there's an entire auditorium of people Watch. I'm not even kidding. I am an absolute mess. I am sticky. The camera is sticky. The backpack is sticky. Everything is sticky. I feel like I'm a child again, but no one to yell at me or clean it for me. So yeah, we're in a rough place. What a mess. What a mess. What a, it's, it's just a mess. I just want to say it's like literally nobody's business how much I ate by myself. If I just don't get anything else to eat the entire time, it's like pretty much all I ate today was a hot dog, deep fried potato, a whole entire loaf of cinnamon bread, a water, and I guess whatever else, I, I mean, I don't know. I will just... <sighs> Look at that, we're minding our business here. Cinnamon roll and a show starts. It's called the Nativity. Great. There's a really, really bad view of the show. Enjoy. Yeah, this part right here where everybody's looking down at the stage, I was at the bottom of that stage eating and everybody was looking at me. If you look over there, there's like this barn swing ride and there's like a barn and it's got little snowflakes on it and here comes some, uh, something, something's happened. Here, Thank you. <laughs> the lights are starting to come on, but we're not going to look at them just yet because if you can see from behind me, it's not like pitch black out. So we're going to go show you some more rides and like things that there are to do here. Through this way is the barn swing. And then if you go to the left when you get up here is the best roller coaster in the entire United States of America. And that's not even being over dramatic. I'm telling you, this ride up here is the best 
roller coaster on Earth. I would even say it's better than Space Mountain. This ride is actually really, really fun. It's like you go up and it like makes these noises because it's at maximum capacity. And look at how cute the snowflakes are. I'm not doing this, <laughs> not a chance. I see it. It is incredible and I am 110,000% doing this right now. It's called Outlaw Run. I will actually post a link below of like someone's POV ride through of this because I'm not gonna be able to film on this at all, but it is intense and it is amazing. And it is 60 minute wait. It's, can you see? It's like a wooden steel kind of coaster and it goes like 100 miles an hour and it has upside downs and corkscrews and you almost fall out. There's something somewhere in this queue line that tells you how fast it goes. You do the seats and then they buckle you in and then they pull a thing down over you. Where is it? I don't know. That is awesome. Look at the American flag made out of Christmas lights. Okay, the night has fallen and I have got something absolutely amazing to show you guys. It is so cool. You see Santa up there? That's not it. Do you remember the Osborne lights at MGM Studios? Oh, just, just wait. Just. I absolutely loved the Osborne dancing lights at MGM Studios. I mean, I was there the last night for them. I, I love them. So seeing this, you guys are going to be like, yeah, wow, it's special. You go through these tunnel things. They're everywhere. The barrels, the fences, the windows, the shutters, the trees. Slow down, Veronica. People do not like when you pan so fast. Okay, I understand. I will go, there's no one even up here. What is happening right now? I just had the self timer on to take a picture of this and it did it again where it like records. Do you remember these? All of this? How beautiful is all of this? couple of other things to point out that are very familiar. Um, right up here, I just made a clicky sound with my tongue. Did you hear that? I don't think I've ever really done that before. Okay. Look at this. What in the world? But this, do you recognize any of this? Especially, that right there. There's that giant tree we walked into earlier. Now it's got cheetah prints or no, that's not cheetah prints. It's something, but it's not cheetah prints. Okay, we're going back in this way. He's loving the lights. And look at that, Hollywood Studios. Do you guys feel the same way? Do you see it? Do you feel it? Do you think so? Or you think I'm crazy? You see the resemblance, right? Like, there's so totally is one. Down we go. Do you remember when we first walked in here like 10 minutes ago and it was like nobody in here? Well, it has gotten wild. So we're gonna, we're gonna move along somehow and see if we can find a train ride or something that we can all do together that I can show you. My favorite ride here besides that roller coaster we just did is Fire in the Hole. Love it. It reminds me of a ride at Knobles. We are not doing the train. This line that goes all the way back up here to the lights is for the train, but we can walk through this tunnel because look at the tunnel. Wow. Is it looking as cool as it looks in person as it is on camera? It is so, so bright and pretty. I am so sad because I was trying to get to the ride that I was just talking about 
And I'm back at the beginning of where we started the day. So there's a whole chunk of the park that we are not seeing. Huh. This is an entire shop with just Christmas things. It's like all year round because it was here. It's all year round. But no Dalmatian. Oh, I found a Dalmatian. I really do want to try to get over to the other side that like I haven't seen yet or showed you guys anything over there. We have to figure it out. I figure we stop into the candy store and get ourselves a little Brevagino. They don't have any cream soda, but we can get ourselves a sarsaparilla. Oh, oh, whoa, hey. Hold on. Uh, ah. What I was going to do is take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Huh? We're drinking root beer these days. The tree abort mission of sarsaparilla. The tree is doing the thing that I said the tree was doing earlier. It's doing it now and it's singing about when they saw the stars. Can you see it? Sort of? There's camels. Camels and a palm tree and stuff. This park was voted most hilly theme park in America. See? Now that's a spectacle of dancing lights right there. That's cool and all, but we got we got other things to see here. We gotta we gotta keep moving. Time is running out. Woo! Or not? I figured it out. When we came in, we went to the right. We did not go to the left. Right there's the church. It's really like a little church. You want to see inside? I'll show you inside. Food, more food. So much food here. I feel like I didn't even get to show you guys the food stands or anything. It's called the Wilderness Church, but it like really is an actual setup church. It's Bibles, hand sanitizer, of course. Decorated for Christmas. Look at that. Very cozy, very cute. I don't even think the camera can pick up how much hill is here and going back up it is even more crazy because I feel like I've done such a bad job at like showing everything here and time is going by so fast and we're not getting very much done they have like these stands with these skillet meals and they're really really great they have pork rinds funnel cakes everywhere there's ice cream there's a dip and dot stand there is you saw the potato stick things I ate they have grilled cheese they have a chicken they have a restaurant that's like sit down family style and they had turkey dinner, it was so good. But you know, there's a lot of different things here to check out. And look at more kettle chips. They have hamburgers and then s'mores. Wait, I love s'mores. You know what, maybe I shouldn't do a sticky snack right now because I don't even have a lot of free hand. You guys aren't my free hand. But they're legit s'mores yeah, on cookies. No, 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 no. I've been messing up a lot. I've been messing up a lot. Powder cake is another really great roller coaster. All of the roller coasters here are actually phenomenal. I mean, there's not even anything like them. <laughs> and I mean that. I've been to a lot of theme parks and amusement parks, and I have not rode anything like the rides here. This is the ride that I wanted to ride. I am so heartbroken. I just found it, and it's closed. She's saying that it might go back up, so I might stick it out in the spot for like a few minutes. Well, here comes the train, and the other ride that I want to ride is only four minutes from here, it says. They don't know my speed, but their guess is four minutes. I have sat here and waited loyally for this ride for like a good 30 minutes, and I think it's really happening. I am a boarding mission. My loyalty did not pay off, and I'm, my butt is getting cold from sitting on that rock. So we're going to go over to the other ride that I said we absolutely have to do while we're here. This is like a boat ride. Look at this. There is no line for this whatsoever, ever. And I don't understand it. It's so great. So this ride here is pretty much, it's like small world 
with like a mix of Call of Duty. So yeah, that's really what it is. It's like Small World with Call of Duty in it as well. It's really great. It's a real treat. Okay, see, it's like little boats and then you got guns. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's Small World, Call of Duty, and Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Okay, we have to shoot everything. Um, they're wearing Santa hats, so it's obviously the holiday overlay, which is great. So it's kind of also like Jingle Cruise. And I'm just gonna keep shooting things. I'm just gonna shoot and shoot and shoot until I die. Rack up the points. It's really great. It really is. Like it's it's like these prisoners, and they're trying to escape this mine. And you're just shooting things, and you're making all these points, and you want to be a galactic hero, which I don't think we're getting that today. This is really magical. It really is. Oh no! Please don't let it hit me. Oh. That was close. I think this guy's dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's all my years of target practice that I did out in the good old countryside. Oh, look. It's headstones. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Under the water, under a rock, here's what's left of poor old... You can make up your own word. So yeah, we just did Small World, mixed with Call of Duty, mixed with Buzz Lightyear's Galactic Hero. That was a Galactic Hero. I'm getting so sad because my battery is blinking and it's dying. And I don't know if it's because I just realized I had to set to firework mode again. I've been thinking about unplugging one of the light strands and just plugging myself in there. I don't know if they would frown upon that or what. So, my clever butt, since I cannot find an outlet anywhere, and I did find one in Starbucks, but these ladies said that I was trying to electrocute everyone. I found an outlet in the bathroom, so we are all charged up, not in firework mode anymore. So hopefully, that 20 minutes will keep the charge, and I can show you guys my favorite ride. And maybe it's open. And I can show you guys the lights one more time, but in like, the right mode. Look at the smoking sections here. Fire Chief says y'all can smoke right here. Wow. Oh, I almost just fell. Right there. Look at this. This would cause a lot of ruckus in the winter. Like you would go to the top and if you like sleigh ride down all of this, you'd like whoosh all the way, you'd be, it'd be wonderful. It's open, yes. Um, okay, there's a, a parade magically coming through here. I'm not, I'm not doing, look at that thing. You're probably like, this is boring, but just wait. Forget Santa Claus, who even cares about Santa Claus? Because right after Santa is, what is that? What? Okay, and just when you think it's over, surprise, it's not. Bonus, here comes a walking candy cane in two seconds. Yes. Oh, there it is. This is what I wanted to do. All right, you guys, this is what I've been talking about all day. Look at this, it's so cheesy. We're in like this like roller coaster cart. Look, look, okay. You would never get away with half of this stuff in Disney. Just wait till you see what's around the corner up here. Look at this. It's a brothel. There's a funeral. Oh, just wait, it gets even more bizarre, but it's so fun. Hold on. He's got his pants on too, by the way. But wait till you see their little faces too. They're so freaky. Okay, look up at this guy. Uh, what is that? The ball knobber camp. Look at this, look at this. Look down at there, this is like a diorama. Like the ones that you made when you were in middle school and they'd be like, make a diorama and your parents ended up helping you so much that they pretty much made the diorama. That's exactly what that is. Oh gosh, oh gosh. See, it's so, okay, look at this. Like, tell me this isn't like Hunchback of Notre Dame but gone wild. Like, look at this stuff. And then the drops just kind of come out of nowhere. Like, I think we're about to have a drop like any minute now. No, okay, first we're gonna pretend we get hit by the train. Oh, you can't even see it. Almost lost his ears, almost 
lost my AirPod. That was intense. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean. So what did you guys think? Did you love it? Like was it as everything as I hyped it up it would be? I hope so. All right, it's getting late. It's nine o'clock. The park closes in one hour. So I think the last thing we're going to do is like just go around and look at the lights. Maybe if you guys want to, we can ride that boat ride with the guns again. I don't know. They, they were letting us have bonus rounds. They said if we wanted to ride through, we didn't even have to get out, but I don't know. I don't know. It's so far across the park that way. We could just look at more lights and just, just do Christmas things and I'll come back and I'll, I'll do a whole day where we just ride that over and over. These are some of the skillet things that I was talking about earlier. They're like all in there and you just come back here and you eat them by this waterfall light. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh goodness gracious, this is the hill. This is the hill that the cinnamon bun is burned on. It's been 20 minutes. We have no water left and our rations are short. Send your prayers. Send your prayers. We're not gonna make it. If you look in this hole, you'll get a holiday surprise. Eh. Eh. One last quick little look around. Oh no, it's blurry. Oh, there we go. We'll never forget you, Osborne Lights. Here's the restaurant that I was talking about earlier. Oh my goodness, it was so, so good. I had a really, 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 really fun time. And I'm so glad that you guys came along with me. And I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. I wish I could have showed you guys more. It was like the time went by so fast and I just couldn't get everything done that I wanted. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I had a lot of fun and I'm really glad that you guys got I was on my way out the exit, but then this is the bakery, so like as soon as you walk in, they're like, you need to eat, and it's to the left, and it's got on our way to the tram, because I am not taking that walk in the dark by myself. There's one of the Silver Dollar City prison buses in the flesh.